Hey, Boogie, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. How about you? I know you said you've been you know, you've been grinding all year long. You've been been consistent. What has it been these last few games? You just really raised your bar even to another level. So what have you been doing? I know you've been working in the gym and working on your shot, but how do you, have you maintained that confidence? And does everything you go up to, you want you think it's gonna go in? Um, just staying staying um, confident mentally. You know, it, it's really not about the work right now for me. It's all about being being mentally confident and and. and And just open and playing. Jason. Hey Boogie, talking about that confidence, um, you know, it's it's pretty easy to see it uh, almost in your body language and 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 on your face these last few games. Is there, you know, I know uh pretty recently you were asked about what you did during the uh during the COVID pause, but since you've come back, I mean you've you've kind of shot the lights out. Um did that did that pause? like re-energize you did it sort of recharge your batteries a little bit i mean i could say that a little bit but overall i just i just been uh, locking in really locking in mentally and, and and just just been talking to my to my brother and stuff and and he's been giving me the confidence and telling me to to play how how, how I've always been playing and, and just to trust my work so overall just trust my work and coach co coach has been telling me to to to, to hoop and, and, and just don't think so. I mean, coach has been doing a great job and giving me confidence as well. I also wanted to ask what what has Alo's role become since he got hurt? Like, is he is he kind of become like another coach? Yeah, Alo's doing a, a great job of being like another coach, and, and and he's still being a great leader on the bench and, and talking to guys and and, and being being like you said a, a great coach. So Alo does a great job of of leading and and, and uh, lead him by example. Has he helped you with anything specifically? Uh, just just making sure that I'm locked in on defense and, and, and with the principles and making sure everybody's locked in and, and knows their, their assignments and their matchups and when, when who to force right and who to force left and just, just, just doing all the little things that he can because he can't really, he can't play right now. Danielle? Boogie, what are your emotions just heading into this Houston game, you know, knowing the, the stakes there and, you know, how much it's kind of been built up throughout the season? I mean, I feel like we're hungry, you know. I feel like we got – it's a lot – it's a it's a great expectation, you know. If we get to play against the top team in the country and get get on national television and we get a chance to prove, prove – to everybody that, that we're an NCAA team. So I feel like it's a great opportunity for us. And I feel like we, we do, all we got to do is capitalize. What do you think are, are the things that you guys have been doing the best over these last few games that you want to carry on? I mean, I, I feel like we, we've been doing a great job defensively. I feel like uh, for this next couple of games, we got to focus on keeping them off the glass and taking care of the basketball. I feel like if we keep them off the glass, they're a great offensive rebounding team. So if we keep them off the glass and – uh, take care of the ball, and, and coach emph been emphasizing of less turnovers and getting a lot more shots up. So, so if we take care of the ball, keep them off the glass, and, and get get our shots up, I feel like we'll, we'll be in great shape.